If you're using Linux Mint, like if you got a free computer from FreeGeek, or you need a free offline suite of Office tools similar to Microsoft Office, then you might be using LibreOffice. LibreOffice comes installed on many Linux-based operating systems like Linux Mint, which is the operating system that comes on most FreeGeek computers, but not everyone is using LibreOffice. So if you want to make sure that whatever document, spreadsheet, or presentation you're working on will function on their computer, then it helps to know how to format your project so that it is definitely compatible. Today, we are quickly going to review saving documents to be compatible with LibreOffice, Microsoft Office, and Google Workspaces, which was previously called G Suite. Starting with LibreOffice, you can open any file created in Microsoft Office, LibreOffice, or any other standard productivity software. This usually includes a document editing software like Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or LibreOffice Writer, a spreadsheet tool like Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or LibreOffice Calc, and a presentation tool like Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Slides, or LibreOffice Impress. There are other productivity softwares, but these are the most common. So to open a file in LibreOffice, you simply need to find where it is saved on your computer and double click, which means pressing the left mouse button twice very quickly. If you're using a FreeGeek computer, the default application should know exactly what kind of file it is you're trying to open and it will start the correct software. So opening a file created in Microsoft Office is just as easy as opening a file created in LibreOffice. But how do we go the other way? Let's say we have a presentation that we need to send to a coworker so that they can present the file while you are doing the talking. For this example, we're going to assume that they are using Microsoft PowerPoint, and we'll talk about Google Slides in just a little bit. Generally, if you send them the file that you created in LibreOffice Impress, it should just work. But if you want to make sure that it will 100% work, then you need to save that file in Microsoft PowerPoint's format. To do this, we're first going to click File in the top left corner, then we'll click Save As. Make sure you click Save As and not Save. Usually just clicking Save is enough, but we want to, be, to have a little bit more control in this situation, so we want Save As. After we've clicked Save As, we'll get a new window in which we can change a few settings. First we can change the title of the document here, but what we're really interested in is the file format. We can see that in the bottom right corner, it says ODF Presentation. This stands for Open Document Format Presentation, and it means it should work with most presentation softwares. However, in this case, we want to ensure that it will work with Microsoft PowerPoint, so we're going to change it. To change from ODF, we just need to click on the box that says ODF Presentation and scroll down until we see mention of PowerPoint. The confusing thing is that there are a lot of options for a PowerPoint format. So let's quickly break down the options. The first thing you might notice is that we have two different sets of numbers. We have 2007 to 365 and 97 to 2003. These are version numbers for Microsoft PowerPoint. The old version starting in 1997 is the 97 to 2003 option. In 2007, Microsoft changed to a new file format, which is why it has its own 2007 to 365 title. So if for some reason you need to save the file in the outdated version of PowerPoint, then you can do that with LibreOffice. But if you're sending it to someone who has a newer version than 2007, then you'll want the 2007 to 365 option. The 365 part of 2007 to 365 references the fact that Microsoft changed its naming scheme from years like Office 2003 or Office 2007 to just always being Microsoft 365. Nowadays, there's no more new versions of Microsoft Office because it gets updated frequently instead of only getting updates every few years. So again, we have the old version of PowerPoint labeled 97 to 2003 and the new versions labeled as 2007 to 365. Next, each of these versions have three different options. There's standard, autoplay, and template. Most of the time, you'll want to choose the standard option. This will treat the presentation as if you're opening it to handle the presentation generally how you would expect. The autoplay option will treat the presentation as a file that is no longer meant to be edited. 
When you open this file, it will constantly rotate between the sides every few seconds. This is helpful if you've made a picture slideshow and you just want to run through the pictures without you manually turning the slides. Finally, we have the template option. If you're familiar with templates, then you probably are already aware of how useful they can be in performing the same task over and over again. Think, for example, as if you had to give the same presentation every month, but with slightly different and updated data. A template would give you the ability to quickly fill out the new information while keeping it uniform with the rest of your past presentations. So to recap, we first need to look at the version of PowerPoint that we want to save the presentation in. Generally, this will be 2007 to 365. And then we need to decide if it should be an autoplay or template file. Usually, we won't want it to be either a template nor an autoplay file. So we'll go with standard file format. If you're not really sure which one to pick, you can look at the file format listed in parentheses. Almost every time, we are going to recommend the PPTX option, which is the current standard for PowerPoint. Now, we're not going to look through all of this again for LibreOffice Writer and LibreOffice Calc, but we do want to show you that the structure is basically the same as LibreOffice Impress. While the software is open, we click File, Save As, and then choose the file or change the file type from ODF. For Impress to PowerPoint, we want the PPTX file format. For going from Writer to Word, we choose DOCX. And for Calc to Excel, we choose XLSX. And just as a reminder, this isn't always required, but if you want to ensure that the file will definitely work in Microsoft Office Suite, then saving as a docx, pptx, or slx file is the way to go. Also, we mentioned this in the beginning, but you won't need to do anything like this if you're trying to take a file created in Microsoft Office and are trying to open it in LibreOffice. It should just work. Although sometimes you might be missing a font or the font is called something different. Okay, so that's it for working with LibreOffice and Microsoft Office, but what about LibreOffice and Google Workspace? Well, luckily for us, it's a little bit easier than doing the save as stuff that we just did for Microsoft Office. For this example, we're going to use a spreadsheet, but the same steps should work for a document or a presentation as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to know where the file is saved on our computer. We have this spreadsheet saved in our documents directory, so we'll keep that in mind as we move forward. To open this file in Google Workspace, we first need to create a new Google Sheet. Then we click File, and then click Open. A new window will appear, which will show you all of the files that you have saved in your Google Drive. We're not actually interested in anything in our Google Drive, so we're going to click on the Upload button at the top end of this list. Then you'll see that you can drag and drop a file into this box, or you can click the button to search your computer for the file that you want to add. We're just going to click the button, which then opens another new window. From here, we're going to navigate to where the file is saved, and if we remember from earlier, it was saved in our documents directory. So we're going to click on documents, locate the file, click on it, and then click open in the bottom right corner. After a few moments, our page will refresh and our spreadsheet will be ready. And again, the process will be similar if you're working with a document or a presentation. You just need to open the like program, meaning you need to open Google Docs for a document, Google Sheets for a spreadsheet, or Google Slides for a presentation. Then you click File, Open, switch to the Upload tab, click the button that says Select a File from your device, and find the file on your computer, click on it, and finally click Open. When you do this, the file will be saved to your Google Drive, so you will be able to access it again fairly easily. Okay, so that's it for taking a LibreOffice file and using it in Google Workspace, but what if we want to use a Google Workspace file in LibreOffice? Maybe because we know we won't have internet access for a while or something. Well, to do this, we first open the file in Google Workspace. We'll continue using our spreadsheet for this example. Once the spreadsheet is open, we again go to File, but instead of clicking Open, we are going to click Download. We should then get a little menu of options for what type of file we want to download the spreadsheet in. Compared to the list of options in LibreOffice, this menu is much easier to read. The top two options are the only ones we're interested in. The first one is Microsoft Excel, and you'll notice that it is the newer version of Microsoft Excel because it is labeled as XLSX. That's the same as the 2007 to 365 option we had in LibreOffice. 
The second option is the open document format, which LibreOffice called ODF for short. Using either the Microsoft Office format or the open document format will work just fine. Remember that LibreOffice will have no problems opening either the Microsoft Office files or the open document files. So we just pick whichever one we want to download it as, doesn't really matter, and then we'll get a window where we can choose whether we want to open the file or save it. In this instance, we want to save the file. So we'll click on the little button next to save file and click OK in the bottom right corner. The file will then download after just a few seconds. This will save the file in our downloads directory so that it's easy to find whenever we need it. The process for a document and presentation are exactly the same. We go to file, download, pick whether we want Microsoft Office format or the open document format, click save file and OK, and then we can find it in our downloads directory. And that's how we can move files from Google Workspace into LibreOffice. So we've gone through how to move files between Microsoft Office and LibreOffice, and we've gone through moving files between Google Workspace and LibreOffice. If you want to learn more about using Linux Mint and compatibility with other software, please check out our YouTube channel or our website at freegeek.org. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. Anyway, that's all for now, so thanks for watching. We hope you learned something. Have a great day, and thanks for supporting Free Geek.